Hey there, it's Justin, and we're going to walk through the wedding planning app. I'm going to try and be as quick as possible, so just know that this is a very scaled back account. You will have more options in yours, but for the sake of being quick, I'm just going to go through the basics. So we're in the account now. You're going to change the photo to a picture of the two of you, as it says, and then I'm going to click on timeline and music. Okay, now in timeline and music, you've got multiple things in the timeline. So we've got the questions up here, of course, the wedding party walk, bridal walk, ceremony, exit, and then it gets into the reception. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on questions. And you'll see that it's going to run through a series of questions. This is about the wedding as a whole. For the sake of time, I'm going to slowly scroll through this. And you're going to see that it'll cover the entirety of the wedding. But again, this is a scaled back version. You will have a lot more options in here. But the biggest thing I want to talk about today is the dance party music. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a guest. So I'm going to click the plus and then this option comes up and I want to text it to one of my friends. Let's say I want to text it to DJ Callum here. So I'm going to click on his name and you're going to see right here it comes up. You can uh, download this link here and now they're going to be a part of the music planning process. Let's pretend I am DJ Callum. So I'm a guest in this app. I can't delete any sections. I can't determine who sees what, but you can. For instance, I don't want everybody to know what song I'm playing for the first dance. So I'm going to click on these three buttons right down there in the right hand corner. And this comes up, right? So now I get to see show to guests. If I click that, now the guests can see that, but we had that off, so I'm gonna click it back off. So now when Callum gets in here, he actually won't even see the first dance, right? So your guests will only see what you allow them to see. So I'm gonna go into the dance music section. I'm gonna hit add songs. I'm gonna click on this first one here, top 200 dance songs. I'm just gonna add a few of these. We've got three songs there, four, five. Now let's go back and you'll see all those songs populate here. Now over here on the right, you've got these heart marks. Let's say you've got 30 guests that you've invited to be a part of this. Everybody can add songs to this. We also have the ability to vote. So let's say I didn't request single ladies and I want to vote that down. I'm going to click the heart and you'll see it disappears right there. So what will happen is if you have 30 guests and they all love single ladies, well, my vote is going to be not important because the 30 hearts are still going to show up right there. I clicked on the song. You can determine if that's a must play. Even if 30 people don't want to hear it, you can say, absolutely, it's my wedding. This is one I want to hear. Or if 30 people want to hear it and you don't and you're like, we're not doing the chicken dance, then you're going to click right here to don't play. You can actually even remove the song. I'm going to click on move to you can move it to a different section. So let's say somebody picks a song that is just not great for the dance party, but it does fit your cocktail or dinner vibe. We can slide that song into dinner. Don't forget you got the questions here because I even ask questions about your dance party and then any notes that you want to leave me. Now let's say that you cannot find your song in any of the playlists. I'm gonna click on add songs and then I'm going to type it in. So forever, Chris Breezy, let's click on it. There it is, I'm gonna click it and there's Chris Brown. Now I wanna import a Spotify playlist that I've created. I click on add songs, then I click on import and I import the Spotify playlist. If I cannot find a song in the search bar or any of the playlists, I can click on add a missing song and then paste the link from wherever it is that I found the song, hit add song and song has been added. So there it is, Tiesto the business. And then once you're done with this, we're gonna get together. We're gonna talk through all these details. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna feel like everything is really organized and hopefully this will prove to have a tremendous amount of value to you in the planning process. All right guys, Justin signing off. I can't wait for your wedding. See you soon.